This Dhyana Buddha statue towering over the ancient town of Amravati is symbolic of the great Buddhist legacy of this region. A short drive from Vijayawada, Amravati welcomes you to a town that has been a religious and trade center for centuries. And it is keeping this legacy alive as it marches into a new era. Known as Dhanya Kakata in ancient times, this was the capital of the later Satvanas who ruled a large part of India till the 3rd century CE. Dhanya Kakata was a prosperous and thriving center of trade and commerce in its prime. With political patronage and wealth, this also became a center of faith, a religious hub. Go to the Undabali caves nearby and you will still see the faces of the powerful traders and merchants who made liberal donations to the temples here. Amravati's oldest and most famous monument is this massive stupa. Known as the Mahachetya, it was expanded over many centuries from the 1st century CE to the 3rd century CE. Over time, other Buddhist centers also came up in the surrounding areas. One such was the famous stupa of Bharti Prolu and of course the Undavali Caves. By the 7th century, when Chinese traveller Hyun San visited the Dhanyakartika region, there was a lot that had changed. He makes a reference, for instance, to the growing influence of Hinduism in the region by this time. As the Hindu influence increased, the name of the city was also changed to Amravati, named after this Amaralingeshwara Swami temple, patronized by the great king Krishnadevaraya of the Vijayanagar Empire. Even today, thousands throng here to see this unique shivling. Amravati is a historic capital where fates meet. It is also a city where the continuum of history can be felt. The old Satvana capital, almost two millennia old, is a new capital of the state of Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm.